Hey everybody, your host AMF1534 here, and let's play some more Resident Evil 2. Last time we were kind of running around in the sewage plant, and now this is where we are. So let's see what we're, what we're dealing with here. What the hell is this all about? It's a high-pressure gas cylinder. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on and the gas cylinder may be removed. That sounds like it's going to be a vital piece here in a moment, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's <laughs> this part's fun. I just I love this part. I get a real kick out of this one. Run, Leon, run! Whatever will we do? I really hope that this isn't going to blow me up. If it does, it's going to be pretty funny. Hey! He's dead! Holy... <laughs> we blew his head off because he was stupid enough to eat a gas canister! Alright! Fucking idiots. Anywho, that was just all sorts of fun. And apparently that door electronically locked behind it. And now it didn't. So let's go talk to Ada. Shall we? And Brandon Marshall's out for Sunday. Means nothing to me. Once again in waist high, gross ass water. Leon. This bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. If you know what I mean. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. That's two I owe you now. That can be construed a lot of different ways, I suppose. Okay, so now that we're back up this way, we can go take care of this thing again. And there's a very good reason why I rose that bridge back up, so we can get back up here. In case you were wondering why I did that, so we have a note to read. Another diary from the old sewer manager. It's been a while, but I saw Dan today, and we talked after completing our work. He told me he'd been sick in bed until yesterday. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. I don't know what's wrong with him. I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. Yeah, I guess if I worked for a sewage plant, I'd probably be doing the same thing. Huh. Interesting. Conducting all sorts of investigations on Umbrella's affairs. It's only f it only makes sense though, you know. Let's combine these bad boys and then we can move along. So we do have one more place to go. I think we might actually be able to... Oh, come on, Ada, for God's sakes. There you go. We'll use that old valve handle again. There you go. Still have the valve. Don't really need it, but whatever. And up into the ventilation shaft we go, now that we can't get chopped to pieces if we try to walk up in there. We do have to watch out for all the, uh, all the bugs. There were plenty of them last time we were in here with Ada, so... Looks like there's none of them now, though. It seems like, uh... These people are rather innovative. I would not really think about going up into a sewer ventilation shaft to navigate my way around. 
but that's the logic behind a Resident Evil game, is that they'll take you in all sorts of places that you never thought you'd be going. Um, there wasn't anything over here that I could get, was there? I don't think there was. No, I think we already did that. We did already do that. So we have an Eagle Medal to go insert, and then we can... Uh-oh. Oh, no, you don't. Damn zombies. They weren't there last time, so I don't know how they got there this time. And why they were just, like, randomly laying down there on the ground. Like they thought I wouldn't know or something. Gross. She just got spit on by acid. So let's put our eagle medal in and we'll stop the most awesome security system for a door ever. Insert two coins and we'll turn off the water. Hiding this door that mysteriously goes over here. Ooh. The music sounds creepy. And now we're apparently inside of a dig site. And Ada's hurt. That's not good. She needs to not be hurt. Because if she dies, then I'm pretty sure that so do I. So let's... Try to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> How this is connected to the sewers, I just, I don't know sometimes. Is there anything over there? No. I think every time I play this game, I always think that there's something over there. Control panel for the Sky Tram. Will you turn it on? You're damn right I will. Let's make sure we got enough. Oh boy. This ought to be interesting. It's definitely not one of my more favorite places to be. Just making sure there was nothing over there. Inside the tram we go. Ba, ba, ba. Load again. Damn it, William. What the hell are you doing? I did not give you permission to start busting apart my Sky Tram. Okay. I guess he's gone. <laughs> it looks like there's a person back there in the shadows. Man, I wasted a lot of bullets on that. Alright, well, out we go. Okay. Well, if you have your lighter, you would actually, you would know. Um, I'll show you anyways, though. If you use your lighter here, it'll light up the, it'll illuminate the entire area when this happens. And then you'll see that key down there. But if you already know where it is, then don't even worry about it. I love this, I love this place. This place is fun one of my favorite zones in this game. It's also one of the last ones, if I'm not mistaken. But I think we're going to find out in a minute. I always forget. Where are we? Oh, we're getting, yeah, we're, we're getting kind of around, around the latter parts of the game. <laughs> yeah, so that, that took all sorts of work. Who to kill first? Sure, let's go after these guys. Just because they're traveling in pairs, that means they're going to DIE! Oh, no you don't. I'll have none of it! 
Oh. oh god, I love doing that. I think that both of these guys are dead. And that guy was already dead. But he doesn't have anything for me, so I don't know why I would even go over there. What a waste. And that guy doesn't have a head. And another door. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. I think he's going to be right here. Yep, sure was. He wasn't as close as I thought he was going to be, but... Uh-oh. Get out of the fucking way, you idiots! Look at Ada putting in some work right now. She is, uh, she's really doing it. We'll switch to our shotgun for now. I'm gonna preserve some of that handgun ammo for a little bit later. Excuse me? Didn't give you permission to get up. Okay, first of all, we need to go back this way. Why? Because we need to. Because there's something over here. <laughs> the perfect opportunity to do that, and we can pick up a couple of little thingamajigs. Make ourselves some special little herbs. I don't know why I said it like that. Herbs. And now we're out of space. We'll combine them together to make something awesome. More herbs that I don't need to use right now, but will be very, very important later. Leon just looks so natural with that giant shotgun in his hand. <sighs> bang, bang. So, where could we be now? Another save room. It's actually very good timing. We needed that to happen. So then we can dump off some stuff. We don't need that valve handle. We don't need that film. We don't need one of these. Actually, we don't need either one of these. We'll take the we'll take the big one instead. So that'll work. Um Yeah, we'll take a we'll take some shotgun shells. And we'll take some ooh, some magnum bullets. That's that's interesting. There's a first aid spray over there, but I don't see necessarily why you would need it. Hmm. Ah yeah, we'll do it anyways, why not? No. Didn't want to do that. Huh. Oh, we'll have some fun. Why not? <laughs> We're going to have all sorts of fun little guns with us. Alright, so out we go. You're probably wondering why I'm getting all these things together. Well, I'll be honest with you. You'll, you'll find out pretty soon. One small thing, by the way. You run back here, doesn't seem like there's anything now, does there? Until you look. For those of you that needed those handgun bullets, well, I'm glad you went and listened to me and went and looked. There's a factory map, will you take it? Of course I'll take it. I don't need it, but I will take it. Alright, everybody, so... We are at this place with a... train. On, like, a big circular platform. Um... Are we really going to do anything with it right now? No, but if you stick around for the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 2, we're going to take our giant arsenal of weapons, and we're going to go jump on that train, and then we're going to go see where it takes us. So, your host, AMF1534, saying goodbye for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.